Yo, what up, motherfuckers? Yo, yo, this is probably only going to be one of my long possible videos because, unfortunately, I don't have the time, really, or the patience, mostly patience, to go through <laughs> and review every single fucking episode of No Game, No Life. Fuck that. That's way too fucking long. I'm just going to give, for right now, my overall opinion on the standing of this motherfucking series. And I'm going to tell you right the fuck now. Yes. One of the top fucking animes this season, by far. Fuck what you think. That's my personal opinion. You don't, you don't gotta agree with it, but you will respect it. Yo. It's a motherfucking anime about gaming. Games! Fucking... You... Yeah. King me, bitch. Like, yo! Yo! You can't top this. It's just... It's just wholesome family fun. Mixed in with lewd sexual humor. And it's awesome. It's fucking awesome. It's strategic. And to be honest, it's a what the fuck mind. Because of the way that this world is, basically, okay, fucking starts off. Brother and sister, they're blank and they're starting off. Oh my, I'm going from memory too, so this is gonna be fun as fuck. They start off in playing some like fucking RPG online. And they just, these no joke, they're known as. Blank. We find out later it's this brother and sister combo. Niggas playing with their feet and their hands and all types of crazy shit. And basically, they're they're just whooping everybody's ass, including the queen of the fucking game, who's using cheats. These niggas fuck cheats. Mm. Doing instant shit. Bitch reloads her mana. Fuck that shit. Cut the bitch up. <laughs> like yo, that's how this shit legitimately is in the beginning. And then it's basically a whole sense of, if you could escape this world, would you? Because they're fucking closet shut-ins, max. Scared people to the max, but their motto is, we are blank and blank doesn't lose. And you see that, and these niggas literally, no joke, like, take over for me, brother. And this nigga, okay. It's unbelievable. And then basically message, oh, would you, have you ever felt that you were born in the wrong world? Play this game of chess with me, motherfucker. And then they beat him in chess. Or her, or it. And then it's like, yeah, press this button. Ding. Ah, ah, falling through the fucking sky and shit. And then basically we find out that they're led to this world where basically war was banished. And now it's a world where no joke. Everything is decided. Yo, if you got a shitty ass motherfucking phone that always fucks with you, like me, throw the bitch around a couple times, get us some cracks, and it'll still fuck with you even more. So fuck it. Deleted all types of shit. Now let's try this somewhat continuing on. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Look. Okay. So they get, it's a world where everything's decided by fucking pledges. They're falling through the fucking sky. Oh my god, we're gonna die. Uh, no, you're not, bitches. And it's like, yeah. It's like, yeah, I'm the god of this world. Blah, blah, blah. All this other shit. Discuss, discussing all the pledges that there are that everybody else knows. That now they're learning them. Basically, everything's decided by fucking games. Simple. And basically, your challenge, you get to pick the rules. But there's so many. If you challenge somebody, you pick the game, I believe. But they get to pick the rules. And cheating is immediate disqualification but you can still cheat just as long as a nigga is not smart enough to realize it and since there's magic in this world and since unfortunately because of all the fucking races there are there's like 16 and rank 16th is immanity which is basically humanity and that's where they're called immanity and they're basically people and they're the only species that can unfortunately detect magic and not only can they not detect magic but they're in a pretty shitty spot. They make it about this big compared to the world because they had apparently a foolish king who believed so much in humanity that he basically gambled away everything but one fucking city. One motherfucking city. And we got fucking elves and war beasts and god killers and all types of fucking different races. And each race has their own abilities but humans are the only ones that don't really have any abilities and because of this and because of the pledges 
Unfortunately, a lot of niggas literally, no joke, get robbed for everything, including their fucking clothes. And possibly even enslaving motherfuckers and having like, an army of fucking slaves because they lost your ass. I can see that in the fucking future. It's like some motherfucking war beast just, just riding along on his fucking throne full of niggas, all naked, just, uh, I shouldn't have bet this motherfucker. Like, I can see that shit. I honestly can. And then basically, we find out that, blank, these, this brother-sister combo, apparently, yo, they can't really detect magic, but they notice it. And they're like the only humans that can do that. And, oh, yes, I'm definitely getting out to human shit later. Oh, my God. Last, yo, Gordon. I want to jump around so bad, but let's just keep going. Okay, they meet the princess who loses to this other girl, and apparently we find out that the new king of this fucking land, after, of course, he robs this bitch of all her gold. Just saying. Just saying. We find out that the new king of this land will be decided by the old foolish king's wish, which was a tournament. And, unfortunately, the queen... The king's granddaughter lost to this other girl because apparently she was cheating using some type of outside source, which they couldn't detect. Possibly, fuck, possibly. I've already seen this. Sh they were using fucking magic, okay? They're using elven magic. <laughs> like, fuck it. I've already seen it. There's no point in being like, possibly. Fuck that. I already know what the fuck happened. I'm not gonna like try and lie or some shit and say I don't because I fucking already saw the shit, like, to where it is now. And so I'm just going through this shit. Without all the, oh, what's going to happen next episode? Fuck that. Mm -mm. What's going to happen next episode? In episode, like, six. That's what I'm wondering. But anyway. Okay, and so from there, it continues on. He makes his girl, like, fall in love with him, which apparently is, like, completely neglected after that episode. Because apparently that completely so that complete side of her is gone after that. I'm just saying. Like, every time he'd be around, her, would be like, ah, and there was whole virgin thing. Like, oh, my God. Ah. And you know, he's, he's about to think, you know. Ah. Huh. Yeah, I, I think I'm ready to get. But unfortunately, because his sister. Cock back. Just saying, the guy. Let him. Yo, know, he's, he's like 18, 19. But I want to say at least. In anime terms, he's a good-looking guy. Come on, sis, don't be no cop. Let him go. Let him become real man. But I digress. I digress. Because we do find out one thing which is important. Even though the whole fact that it's like a giant plot hole, like apparently this bitch just stops loving him. Like, off the, off the next episode, that whole fucking thing is gone, which is one thing I do fucking hate about animes. When they say some shit, it's a pledge. It's supposed to be there for fucking ever. Unless it has a specified date. Like a day. I'm getting in the future. But he said, fall in love with me. And she fucking, every time he went, ah, oh, somebody, somebody, ah, oh, I must cook for this nigga. I must clean for this nigga. Like, yo. And then immediately, next episode, gone. Just, say, just saying, what the fuck. You gotta point some shit out. Just saying. But then, basically, the whole fucking thing about how, apparently, blank, this brother-sister combo, which I'll get their names next up, trust me, I will, just, I'm remembering so much, I'm not about to remember niggas' names, because that's gonna fuck me up, if I just say niggas' names every, blank combo, brother-sister. Okay, basically, we find out that they cannot be a certain distance apart, because otherwise, these niggas go mental. <laughs> they go fucking crazy. Brother, sister. They go, they go ape shit. Just saying. And then basically the whole thing about ruining the new king who's about to be this girl. Ruining their coronation, walking up in that bitch. Yo, what up? Anybody has anything to say? Speak now, we're over peace. Yeah, this bitch over here, she used magic. What? I think she's working with the elves. <gasps> Just, just saying, like, yeah, nigga's smart. And then basically she's like, I don't know who this is. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. 
It's like, oh my god, what a clever ploy that these motherfuckers did. Oh, fuck me. Fuck. This. And then basically we'll decide this by a game. Then she's trying to get him to quit. And then apparently the game is decided and she has some underhanded method. She even comes to this nigga and tries to get him to give up. Saying that she's doing all this for humanity. And it's a very smart tactic. The only problem is that this nigga ain't falling for that shit. Because he's like, mm -mm. three reasons. Oh my god, do I have to remember these three reasons? Okay, basically, one, she still thinks that we have some type of side backing us. And she doesn't know what side it is. So she's going to be cautious. Two, she wouldn't have asked us if she thought 100% for sure that she was going to win to ask us to drop out. And three, this bitch don't got no faith in humanity, so fuck her. <laughs> That's basically fucking it. And so basically we find out the game, and it's a chess game. But it's no ordinary motherfucking chess game. The pieces do what you command them to do. If you command a motherfucking piece to jump, that motherfucker won't say how high. That nigga will jump until he gets to the maximum height of your words. <laughs> they technically speaking, because it's a game about based on not only like charisma and all that, and basically they're taking turns because they work as a pair, brother sister combo again. And so what they're doing is little sister's gonna play first, then the brother. And little sister's playing and you know she's doing just basic move up to go back to pieces aren't moving because they don't want to die and all this and that. And she just like advance. And motherfuckers going three spaces, five spaces, ten spaces, niggas going all over the fucking place. And I'm pretty sure if you told a motherfucker, like, yo, go off the board and kill them, they, they might, might do it. And then basically, it's the brother's turn, and he's like, mm, I know what I must do. And he's like, would you mother... You know, and then it goes to this whole hilarious ass thing. Like, look at this girl sacrificing herself, willing to lose a game so you niggas don't die. She, he just boosts her fucking confidence. Like, we'll do this for the princess. Yeah, you can fuck anything you want. <laughs> this nigga was going in. These niggas got mad hype. Oh, they're going crazy on the shit. And then basically we find out her hidden trick in this. And that is that apparently she used magic not only to increase their charisma to make them move faster and listen to her more, but she also gave them the ability to change pieces over to her side just by one of the pieces touching them. And so what does this nigga do? Nigga, literally queen. Yo, oh, literally queen. Look at that fucking king. He's mad with power. Start a rebellion. She comes over to his side. Then the knight's like, knight, take the bitch. <laughs> and of course, if you know anything, Knights are always, for some reason, in love with the queen, and so he comes over to her side too, but it's a losing battle, because just by touching the single piece, what happens? Unfortunately, that piece will go over to them. And so what does that mean? It means something kind of smart as shit. Yo! This nigga basically just lets the bitch run mad with power. And it lets the whole monarchy system, no joke, kill itself from the inside out. He's like, because these niggas don't want to fight? Mm -hmm. That king is mad with power. Fuck that nigga. King literally was killed by poison, so to speak. Killed by his own men to stop this shit. And then she loses. He's the, he's the new king. He's like, there's, then there's that whole little bit about who's going to be king and queen. Let's play a game to decide. It's like, brother, I won't let you start no fucking harm. <laughs> it's just fucking hilarious. It really is. And then, from there, and by now I'm, 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 I'm probably around episode four, we find out that brother and sister, they never quit while they're ahead, and so they got like an insane amount. Basically, they're even on the wins and losses and ties. And you're not allowed to quit while you're ahead, so once one wins, the other will win, or it becomes a tie. You know, it's it's fucking crazy shit. And they're up in like a million. I'm like, yo, these motherfuckers. That's, they're unbeatable. And he basically, we move on to the next episode, which is basically put this nigga playing a nice little old-fashioned 
civilization game, where he's basically seeing what he has to work with, and he's building it all up. And for the most part, though, he ain't doing shit but reading. And she's getting pissed off by that. Because here we got the granddaughter of the fucking king. She's doing all this work, and all this dude is doing is sitting back reading. You know, of course, he managed everything, and while she, while he's managed everything somewhat out to his okay level, then he just like, fuck this. Hmm. Hmm. Like, no, no joke. And this is pissing her off. And so, of course, she's challenging him to games. Which, unfortunately, she thinks that are just probability. But she's cheating, and he notices it, but it don't fucking matter. Because of the main aspect of it. Of course, she's also on the side. She's managing all the lords to make sure that there's no under-seated rebellion. Like, it would fucking matter against this nigga. But, just saying... There's like three lords left, and he, niggas run out naked, all their land, property, everything, mm, gone. And so now they have a pe perfectly neutral fucking state. And there's even this joke where they're no joke using her fucking name as an imitation. Or, or they're using her name as another word for stupid, like no joke. And that's like an ultimate insult, and that had me on the. I was like, yeah, oh no. Basically, she challenges him to games. She loses, you're my dog for the day, and yeah, rough, rough, you know, and then she keeps on challenging him to games that she thinks are just probability and chance, and unfortunately, she's continuously losing and losing more of her fucking clothes the entire time, down to the point where, no joke, she has a loincloth, and another loincloth, with a dog tail and everything. And this is where things get real, though. Because this is about episode 5 now. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting close to wrapping up. Except for one thing, which I'll, I'll get to near the very end, which is the coronation speech, because that's the most truest shit I ever fucking... Just saying. Just saying. But basically, you figure out, in this, in episode 5, around there, well, not around, it's, um, fuck it, look. Basically, nothing is probability. Nothing is chance. Let's say, and he used a perfect example, let's say, in a deck of cards with no jokers. You, let's say you have, oh my god, it was, it was kind of complicated. Okay. He's asking her percentages and shit, like, you got a deck of cards with no joker, what are the chances you're going to put out the fucking ace of spades? And she, of course, is like, whoa, 1 in 52. And he's like, well, no, let's say you take a new deck. And you take out all the jokers, which are usually, you know, the four top and bottom cards. Can't remember which one. Then, what is your chance? When you know that it will always be at the exact bottom. That's a 100% chance. That's your problem. You think that everything is just chance and probability. And it isn't. Everything is somewhat fated to be so. You can change that little, you know, basically... I want to say, like, under a 1% chance into, no joke, a 100% chance. And that's why he's so smart. Because he realizes everything. Like, and it came to, oh, yeah, when will these birds fly away? 30 seconds. Three, bitch. <laughs> Which person will come to us anyways? Like, you civics, time of day. Who would come around here? The area. What would they be coming out here for? Hmm. Is that a whorehouse? I sense older men. <laughs> like, you know, shit like that. And basically, they give her an amazing lesson. And then, of course, there's like a giant ass, apparently, the god slayers, things that could slay gods, are coming near their castle, and they're trying to find a way to go fight them and play a new game. And apparently... They're like rank, I believe, 13. I believe so. Or possibly three. One of them, in either way, they only play one game, and so he's about to play these motherfuckers in one game. 
what the game is yet. We we don't know. We could I could probably look this shit up because it would probably be somewhat. I mean, they only play one game, but I'm not gonna do that because I actually am curious and I don't want to ruin that shit. But now this is the most important part that I had to bring up because unfortunately this is the end of the video because it's the most important shit, and that is this nigga's coordination speech. Humans are a weak species. We do not have strength. You think you got strength, nigga? If a building falls on your ass, you're dead. Just saying. Fuck it. If you fall from a three-story building, you're dead. Just saying. Like, well, chances of you dying are high. You can die. Look for that shit. Odds are, if you don't die, you're gonna break your fucking legs, and you're not gonna walk again. That's a fucking fact. You can land on whatever the fuck you want. You don't land on your legs, those bitches are gonna break. You land on your legs, so it'll probably break and go up your ass. Just, just saying. <laughs> we don't got strength. We definitely don't. I mean, let's be honest. Our strongest people, they can't even fucking bend down and touch their fucking toes. Touch the toes! These niggas can't bend down and touch the knees. Just saying. Strongest niggas in the world. They, they, they're strong, yeah, they're ripped, they're bopping. Just saying. That's that's the max, and they're destroying their body in a sense doing it. Because, I mean, you're fuck, you can be ripped as fuck, but. Yo. Fuck it. I mean, I can, I can lift a couple hundred pounds. I'm like, yo, I'm cool with that. I don't, I don't need to be able to lift a fucking car, yo. At what possibility. Possible chance I need to lift a car when the fact is that I know that if there's a situation where I need to lift a car, my adrenaline will be hard, high enough where I would be physically able to lift up a car. Yo, moms can lift up a car if their baby's under that shit. You think I'm joking? Mm. 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 I lost my ability to walk for a couple of months after this horrible fire incident with gasoline, and I had to learn how to walk again. But immediately after. I was put that fire out, which was painful, and it lasted for like a minute straight of me rolling around trying to put that bitch on. I was like, mm, it's gasoline, that ain't gonna work. You gotta smother this shit. Because unfortunately, none else is gonna work with gasoline fires. Just just a fun fact. Just just a fun fact, because that shit was horrible and painful. I swear to God. Especially the recovery. Recovery from fires are probably the worst. Yo, just shoot a nigga in the head. Just shoot, yo. I'm just saying, like, yo. Like, I mean, fire is not a way I'd like to die, but I know that it would probably be a peaceful death. Because even though at first you're, you're, it hurts, after a while, the pain, it kills nerves. You ain't going to feel it after a while. Of course, if you're going to panic. and like, ah! But if you control yourself, then you're not going to... But still, it's a much better way to die. Immediately killing off nerves and, you know, let's say, drowning. Oh, drowning. Oh, the thought of... Even though it's quicker, yeah. It's like a mixed thing, okay? Fire's a horrible thing. Everything's a horrible There's like a few good ways to die, okay? But look, as a nigga who learned how to walk again, I can tell you adrenaline is some crazy ass shit. Because immediately after the adrenaline wore off, I lost the ability to walk and had to crawl, no joke, 100 feet into my house, call my mom, and tell her I can't walk no more. Yo, that was, that was probably some crazy ass shit for my mom, too. I swear to God. Ah, I probably scared the shit out. Because <laughs> I literally had to crawl up some fucking stairs, like drag my entire body weight, because I couldn't move my right foot. But before the adrenaline wore off, I jumped over, like a four foot fire and a fence, to put the fire out so it wouldn't burn down my motherfucking house. Because, yeah, it was a guy's name explosion. Keyword explosion. That shit blew me back. And I was not not unconscious. You woke up with my shit on fire. So I was like, oh, fuck. You know, fucking story time. But look, we're not a strong species. We're not. Especially in this world against war beasts and shit. Shit, that's a guy. You ain't fucking with that. We're not really anything compared to all these other races. We can't use magic. Fuck magic. Mm. Uh, I like to see a nigga trying to use some magic on me. Uh, lightning bolt, bitch. Knock the fuck out. That's that's what I use. Knock the fuck out. It's a one hitter quitter. It's 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 a one special move. You only need to use a bitch once. You don't need to refill that shit. Cause once you use it once, niggas back the fuck off. Just... <laughs> I'm so fucking bad right now. Fuck it. Let's go.
Let's go. This is what happens when I start getting into shit. I go crazy. Kind of. But I like it because it's enjoyable. It really is. Crazy shit, I say. But, okay, we get it. We're not strong, can't use magic, really nothing. We're technically speaking, even on our own fucking planet. Without all this shit. We're, we're weak as fuck. Yo. Fight a bear, motherfucker. You're dead. Fight a tiger, motherfucker. You're dead. Fight a whale. Fight any of this shit. You're dead. There are thousands of things in this planet that can kill us that aren't self-made. Like, like animals, they'll, they'll, they'll fucking kill your ass. This little fucking wolf kill your ass. Bite you in the neck. Hot. You're done. The only thing that we have over everything else is the fact that we are born as an empty slave. We can become intelligent. We don't just fight. We don't rely on other things. Because that's not what we're good at. We're good at literally doing whatever we want. Because if we can do something, we find a way to do it. We can't fly. We found a way to fly. We can't move more than like 30 miles an hour. Like I believe it's less than that. I believe it's like 15 or 20 or something. Just saying like max speed. We made a fucking car, now we can go fucking 300 down the highway if we feel like it, if you got the right car and enough money. If you got a shitty car and, enough, and like little money, you can still go about 100. Just saying, just saying. So yeah, we beat the cheetahs. Mm -hmm. Fuck that shit. Mm -hmm. Where you at, cheetah? You're in the background. Mm -hmm. You under my car? Oh shit, is that your blood on my tire? Damn, just saying. Left the nigga in the dust. Oh, God. Okay, but you get it, okay? We're, we're nowhere near a perfect species. But the problem is that when we removed war, when we removed fighting, the one thing that people, no matter how much we do, we kind of fucking suck at, to be honest, because we create weapons. We don't fight. Like, we do, but we don't, okay? You, you kill a nigga with your fist, you're a badass motherfucker. That's a fact. Like, like yo, but you kill a nigga with a gun, pussy. Kill a nigga with a knife, pussy. Kill a nigga with anything, really. You, to be honest, you're a little bitch. Unless it's in self-defense, and if and by self-defense I mean nigga come at you, watch out, break nigga's neck or some shit, that would be badass. I'd be like, yo, good for you, you defended yourself. But, mmm, mmm, a nigga pull a gun on you, little bitch. It's a fact. It's just a fact. He's afraid, he's a little bitch. Mmm, any motherfucker can pull a trigger. It takes a real man to use these. Just saying, just saying. Anyway. Okay. Even though, technically speaking, real men, they shouldn't even use these, they should use this, but just... Just saying, self-defense is for a reason, so you can defend yourself against other motherfuckers. Because niggas be crazy sometimes, and like, oh my god, I can't fuck with this nigga. Oh, ch bitch, get that fucking gun out of here. Okay, okay, we need to come fuck now. Okay, we need, to, we need to take a chill pill for a minute, okay? I'm losing track of what the fuck I was saying. Okay, basically, we're weak species. We are. Intelligence. In this world where war is banned, all these other species gained what we never had. They already had everything we didn't. They had the strength, they had the speed, they had the stamina, they had the magic. What they didn't have, though, was our intelligence, our ability to withstand. The fact that every fucking baby is born as an empty slate. And when your parents say that you can be whatever you want to be when you grow up, it's not a fact. But it's not a lie either. Because when you're born, technically speaking, you can be anything. You're a blank slate. You took a baby, you could raise that motherfucker to be it. To be nigga to blow himself up. An extremist. You can raise him to become president. You can, it depends on the situation which creates the motherfucker. It's a fact. You're born in war, you're most likely going to fight in a war. You're born in poverty, most likely, unless... But the thing is, you can break out of that, too. Because all types of niggas are born in the ghetto when they get the fuck out. The ones who don't, they end up dying or going to prison. It's... Yo. Low-income housing raise. Yo. And then I got out that shit, because my mom, she was smart. She's like, mm, this, ain't, this shit ain't for my son. I'm saying... And now, it's like, uh, middle class. And middle class is the shittiest class, I'll tell you right now. I swear to God. In America, oh, middle class is the shitty class. Never want to be in the middle. I'm telling you right now. Because in the middle, you don't get no help. But you don't got everything you need either, really. 
It's like, it's just kind of a fucking struggle. It's like middle class and shit. If I had a choice between middle and bottom class, nah, nah, I'll stay with middle because bottom class, they're about to be screwed as fuck. I mean, they they got their little help right now, but that shit's getting cut back and cut back and cut back and cut back. So niggas better either start getting the fuck out of middle, uh, getting the fuck out of the bottom class and moving up to middle class, getting their shit right, or fucking I'm gonna lock my doors. I'm just saying, I'm gonna lock that bitch. Mm. Then come up in here. Uh uh. <laughs> I don't got used to guns. I just be like, you didn't come up in here just, just to say that shit. Just, 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 dude, I have some nigga recorded me too while I did that shit. Just so I could say I said that shit and did that shit. Because that, that would be hilarious. You just be like, yo, I, I wish a nigga would come up in this bitch. Just to try to take my shit. I swear. <laughs> that's fucking just. To me, that's hilarious. I know some niggas, though, they're serious about that shit. And they'll be like, a nigga come up in here, I'm gonna shoot their ass. And, and no joke, like, legitimately, this old-ass man around this area that I moved to literally camped in his fucking basement because niggas kept on breaking into his house. He made it look like he was n never there. Broke into the basement. Waited for niggas to break in. Shot the nigga dead. Then his cousin came in looking for him. Shot the bitch six times. She was still moving. Shot the bitch again and waited for the death twitch. Yo, that's some hard... That's some crazy, and there was an old ass man, he's like, they can't hurt me, he recorded himself doing the shit. <laughs> like, they can't hurt me, no. Niggas are crazy, okay? Fear is probably the worst thing that people can have, because fear makes people do crazy ass shit. But yeah, okay, you fucking get it, okay? We're not the strong species, we're fucking weak, and all these other species, they gained what we had. The only thing that we had that gave us the advantage, which was intelligence. They gained the ability to play games because they couldn't fight no more. They couldn't kill no more. So they had to adapt to survive. While we were a species that always constantly adapted to survive. They are now just learning how to. And they did learn how to. And now humanity is fucking screwed. But with the way things are going, because at the end of this, this nigga did probably the smartest thing ever. He declared war with every single race. But nobody's gonna attack him because they don't know what the fuck he has up his sleeve. Because you say, you're like, yeah, you got some big cojones, you know, you got some big cojones. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I was about to do that, so I'm doing it. Okay? Look, got some big ass balls. But he was like, mm, it's a, it's a strategic strategy. Because they don't know which race is helping us. And they think a race is helping us, so there's nothing helping us at all. But until they know what is or what isn't helping us, they're not going to make a move because they're afraid of losing. Especially since, of course, this nigga beating elf magic with pure willpower. Oh, brain. It makes sense. The way this nigga thinks, I agree with. Technically speaking, There is such a thing as... No, 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 I just have to bring this up. Just, just this one fucking thing. Okay, I have to. Because if I don't, it's gonna piss me off. There's only one game, just one, where it is pure... Not pure, technically speaking. It is on, the word is on, fatable, because they're, well, technically speaking, it's like 49-49 chew, flip a coin, it's not 50-50, unfortunately it isn't, because unfortunately I've had more coins, like no joke, like, out of every coin, I've, I've had bitches like, that will just land like that, it actually does fucking happen, believe me, it does, but flip a coin, heads or tails, that's probably the closest to a fair probability chance game that you're going to get. I mean, unless you're the person flipping the coin, of course, and you're really good with controlling the amount of strength you put into it and trajectory and all the other shit. But for the most part, guess what fucking happened again? 
I don't give a fuck. Look, for the most part, you already fucking know it's mostly a game of chance. I mean, if you have some somebody who doesn't know none of that shit flip the coin, it's 100% chance. It's either heads or tails or it's going to be. I'm like, that. Simple. I mean, there's really nothing more to it than that. Oh, there's the wind and all these other variables. But to be honest, that's probably the fairest chance that this bitch would ever get. But she is too stupid to realize, like, yo, pit, flip this fucking coin. Heads or tails. Let's see these niggas predict that shit now. Like, you gotta predict it before you, before you do it. And you have to have some third party that's uninvolved in either party to do it. And, to be honest, that's probably the only fair game I could see. Possibly. But yet, there is still, in a sense, can be somewhat pretty, because it isn't, a coin isn't 50-50, people have to realize that it isn't 50-50 unless you catch the bitch in your hand and do that. But then at the same time, it's also, you you literally, if you want a coin to be 50-50, you just flip the bitch in the air, let it go where the fuck it goes, and then you find it. But the odds of that bitch are going to land like that are so low. Like, I don't even want to say 49-49, like, chew. I want to say, like, maybe, like, 49 .9999. And then forty nine point nine 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 nine, and then like point like like zero 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 blind like two like it's it's a weird <laughs> okay I don't really want to go into the probabilities I don't but it's a, it is a possibility it is a, no coins fifty fifty but that's probably the closest you're gonna get to probability to be honest. Because it's something that you can't really predict or control. Because it's like, you know, heads, tails, or it's going to land like that. How the fucking... It's not something that has to do with the mindset. Like, rock, paper, scissors. Like, he got the bitch with that. Out of the way, you know. Like, he tells him what he's going to do. But at the same time, it's like... It's so... This nigga's good, okay? This nigga is just simply good. No game, no life. Yo. If I had to... Oh, fuck. I said no more ratings, but... Yo. Top anime of the season. It's in the top. It is. It's, it's a fucking fact. It's not in the top ten, though. No, uh. It's in the top five. Maybe even the top three. In my personal opinion. Just saying. So, with that being said, in this long-ass fucking video, it's missing my fucking arm. Peace the fuck out.